Uh, my name's Deface, aka Dean Stockton, or my name is Dean Stockton, aka Deface. I'm sat in this stupid car right now. Um, I made this sculpture in 2006 for part of a show I had called Death and Glory. I bought the car from Scrappy off 50 quid and then smashed it with a uh, bulldozer. Um, I'm working on, I'm just finishing up the screen print for uh, the Don't Panic show. The print I've done for the, for the I'm doing for the show is about uh, superheroes and what happens to those superheroes in today's society now that they're no longer needed. Um, now that they've been infected by the sort of products of our existence, advertising, marketing. The continual themes for my work is basically um, media, advertising. You, know, you see this advertising that you've not chosen to, to, to be part of necessarily, and it's forced upon you. You see it in your everyday life, whether that's a billboard or a, a TV or a radio. I'm defacing literally you know, other, other things that have been put into our existence, into our public domain. Look, we've not had a choice to, to be part of, or, or nobody's asked me whether I want to see that advert or billboard there. So, and that's kind of what I do in my own work as well, where I, I retake the billboards or I put posters up in the street you know, illegally, um, or place public sculptures in the streets illegally. Um, I'm having that dialect with the public, just most like an advert does. If you've ever been to a club in, in London, come out late early in the morning then you'll be aware of, of don't panic if you've walked into a bar and seen the, the sort of the packs or the packs being handed out to you then you can't have missed don't panic they've been around for like 10 years now so obviously living in and breathing london that's part of your your environment as well um, again you know you choose to pick those packs up you choose to look through it and one thing i've always liked about don't panic is that they've supported the arts and design and creative process by getting artists to design posters for every pack um, therefore, you know, the last 10 years have had a really good history of interesting artwork inside those packs. And, and in the same way, you're taking that pack, it's blind, you know, it's blind sealed. You're kind of forcing people to look at the information that's inside there and therefore the artwork that's been um, commissioned for that. So, uh, yeah, I've been well aware of Don't Panic. I've been asked before to do, a, to do a poster, I never got around to doing it. But there was a nice synergy in the fact that Don't Panic are 10 years old this year and, and I've been doing this for essentially 10 years. So. Um, it kind of made sense.